What's up, guys? Welcome back to Snatch Liquor Reviews. And boy, we got something special for you today on episode eight. Now, this is going to be the first installment of our holiday special series. And I hope you're excited as we are about this because it's going to get really good. Ho, oh, ho, ho. We got some trash for you. Yes. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. We're in the spirit, as you can see. Got the uh, appropriate attire going on, you know. And uh, you should too while watching this and get in the spirit. Because mm -hmm. amen. That's what we're all about. Snatch liquor reviews, having good fun for the whole family. All right. Now, as you can see here, we got you know a popular choice among many: Crown Royal and Crown Royal Black. We're gonna do a nice little comparison video for you here today. All right. And uh, yeah, now many of you have probably had this before. I've had this myself as well as my associate here. And uh, well, you know what? Yeah lots of it so you know we know it's about you know it's about but uh you know there's a lot of uh misrepresentation of this liquor here and we're gonna get down to the bottom and give you guys the real answers we're gonna set the record straight yes that's right now it's called crown royal but i like to call it hat middle class because i think that's a more appropriate title for it all right now, uh, you know what? Uh, another thing I tell you what, if your king drinks Crown Royal, then uh, he needs to get overthrown because real kings don't drink this. And here in America, we know something about overthrowing kings. So, yes, uh, that's right. Yeah. Remember that one, England, because uh, we're never forgetting about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Hell yeah, brother. All right, guys. Now we're going to get into this real quick. Now, it comes with a little plastic seal on the cap here. We're going to rip this baby off. Now, it's kind of hard to tear off. It's almost like they don't want you to drink any Crown Royal either. And uh, to be honest, I don't blame them. Yeah, they're saving you. They're saving you some embarrassment. Yeah. Little known fact, if uh, you ever buy any Crown Royal at the club, uh, you know, if you buy a whole bottle at the club, I mean, you really just... Uh, overpaid to embarrass yourself exactly. and uh you know you might not know it in the moment but you'll figure it out later on in the night now uh that is uh pretty difficult to tear off so i'm gonna get a uh, professional separation tool for this bad boy now that is true engineering right there we recycle in this here place. Yes. Always recycle. Okay. And uh, if you can't recycle, make sure you throw it in the ocean. Okay. Do your part, guys. Just like we do. That's natural reviews. Now, we're going to take some drinks to that. All right. All right. All right. But before we do that, I got to let you know. Crown Royal, while I, you know, I like to call it half middle class, half middle class is also the uh, McDonald's of whiskeys. doesn't have a bad smell to it though, you know, it's, it's got, you know, kind of a, a spicy kind of smell and, you know, I don't mean like, you know, like, uh, like, you know, buffalo kind of spice, I mean, kind of like, like cinnamon ginger kind of spice to it. Now it is a Canadian whiskey. So, uh, you know, you gotta keep in mind. It smells like if you had syrup and water sitting in the bottom of your trash can for a long time. Yeah. That's and what it uh, smells like. You know, the Canadians, they know a lot about syrup, and they know a lot about trash cans. Just uh, speaking of some maple syrup, I think I'm going to take a nice little pull up. <laughs> Haven't even started drinking yet, and uh, we already know. Take all that real quick stuff. Prepare the orifices here, and uh, get it in, you know nice spicy smell to it you know it's not that's really an unpleasant smell but yes it does kind of resemble what syrup would smell like if it was sitting in the garbage can we also do have a classic here chase it down with just so you see yeah. this is the uh royal crown cola yes with the crown royal better than coca-cola yeah it's a nice pair 1905 yeah you saw it here first thing royal crown crown royal we do it right at snatch liquor reviews 
especially on holidays. Well, yeah, you know, uh, not really uh, upset that I just took a drink of that, but I'm not really stoked about it either. All right. No, no one's stoked uh, about it. How much alcohol is in that, by the way? Looks like about 40% alcohol and 100% uh, embarrassment and shame. Ooh, that's harsh, but uh, you know what? Some pills are hard to swallow, folks. And uh, Crown Royal is also hard to swallow. Yes, that is right. Those two go hand in hand, you know? It's crazy uh, how artistic you can be sometimes. Although I'm probably off for, you know, anything else. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't consider this art as more, you know, somebody that thinks they know how to do art, but really they're just making, you know, flaming hot garbage. Yeah, and you know, following it. it's, it's kind of like a new Eminem album. I don't know if you've ever listened to any of those, but, uh, you know, don't waste your time with those. And, uh, you know, you're not really using your time wisely by drinking Crown Royal. You know, also, right. don't waste your time with Canadians. Canadians are terrible. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, another thing, now we don't have it in the video because, you know, it, it's just not here, but it, it came in a bag. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason that is because Crown Royal wants to help you hide the fact that you're drinking Crown Royal. And, uh, you know what, I don't blame them. That's a solid move on their part, and I respect that. I'm going to take another drink to that, by the way. Because, uh, you know, even though not the best product, they're still thinking about you. And, you know, we appreciate that. So, uh, they give you some uh, embarrassment of water to wash down the shame. Ooh. Gross. Alrighty. Yeah, drinking Crown Royal, it's actually what it feels like when you have to step down from the throne. Uh, that, that really is one of the best ways to put it. And, have uh, you ever, um, you ever went to a bar and there's an outside sitting area at a bar and, uh, you know, you go outside and it's raining a little bit, the ashtrays full of like, cigarette butts have filled up with water. Oh, I know all about that. Exactly. So just imagine you took one of those ashtrays and slugged down, took a shot of that water. It's what Crown Royal tastes like. Yeah. You know what? That is very accurate. I'm glad you brought that up. And, you know, speaking of, uh, you know, ashtrays and trash, you know what? Uh, Crown Royal, it's, uh, you know, for people that drive Nissan Altimas, try to uh, commit every kind of traffic violation possible while also missing payments of child support at the same time. Amen. All right, that is exactly what this is for. Now, uh, if you're one of those people, sorry to break it to you, but uh, the truth hurts sometimes, and the truth, truth hurts. does not care about feelings, but that's naturally good views again. We care about the truth, and we're not gonna be afraid to give it to you, okay? Sorry, not sorry, all right? All right, guys, now, before we get into this Crown Royal Black here, got a couple more points to make about the regular Crown Royal. Now, the first point I have to make is that, you know, Crown Royal, it's, uh, you know, for that guy who uh, sells things that he shouldn't, it, it sits passenger seat with that guy who, uh, you know, overcharges and overcuts his product, if you know what I mean. Some delinquents. Yes, that is absolutely right. I'm glad you said that because 100% accurate there. 110% accurate, by the way. All right, now, you know what? You're probably wondering, why do you guys hate Crown Royal so much? And, you know, my response to that is, if we hated it so much, why would we be this honest about it? All it's right. True. Why? Yeah, you know what, and uh, again, the truth hurts sometimes, but you know what, you gotta deal with the pain to grow and get better. Right. So uh, that's what we're all about, self-improvement, that's natural to reviews. All right, now, before we get to this Crown Royal Black, you know, we still got the, uh, the box for it, and uh, you know, we got some facts about it on the back. Robust and full body. Crown Royal Black is a rich and flavorful blend. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Flavorful like the bottom of a fucking trash can. That's right. All the smoothness of Crown Royal Fine Deluxe. Yeah, smooth as sandpaper, am I right? <laughs> uh, mature in charred oak barrels and blended at a higher proof for richer texture and bold finish. So we know right off the bat, the Crown Royal Black, higher percentage. Hopefully, I think you know, much bolder finishes than that. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're right about that. And, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I personally haven't had this bold finish yet, but, uh, you know, I'm going to take your word for it. All right. Now, Crown Royal blended Canadian whiskey was first created as a gift for the king and queen of England. Well, guess what, folks? It's all making sense now. All right. You know, uh, you got a uh, gift of mediocrity for a very mediocre country leadership. You know what? It's all making sense. All right. Those guys, the king and queen of England, you're talking about the king and queen of a country that, uh, first off, doesn't have AC. Come on, guys. Get some freaking AC. Exactly. The people were dying a couple months doing? ago. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. And uh, the king and queen of a country that uh, has a separate tap for hot and cold water. How do you guys wash your hands? Sounds Seriously. like over handling to me. Yeah. No, you're absolutely it's right. Either you right. burn your hands or your hands are freezing. Yeah. No. And you uh, get that soap off the cold water. No. So you have to use the hot water. So you're burning your hands. What the fuck's that all about? Yeah, seriously. What is that all about? Yeah, I bet you don't have an answer that. Okay, too much handling. So you gotta like, you gotta go from the hot to the cold, and then go back to the hot to get the soap off, and go back to the cold so you don't burn your hands. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Y'all are fucking weird. Your cuisine sucks. You suck. America's better. Yeah. Get some better dental care, all right? Facts. Uh, you know, another thing about the king and queen of England, all right, weren't, weren't, weren't those the uh, king and queens that were, uh, you know, really keeping it in the family, if you know what I mean? You know, uh, I don't know. If that's not sus to you, then uh, I believe you're a little too sus for me, okay? Amen. And, uh, but by, okay, but now back to the review here. You know, it, it was a gift to honor them during their visit to Canada, which, uh, you know, sounds like they didn't want them to come back to Canada, and I can't say I don't blame Canada them. is also sus. Yeah. But, you know, I can't blame Canada for not wanting the King and Queen of England to come back. I, I don't want them coming over to my house. Yeah, so feed people Crown Royal that you don't want to come back to your house because that's a great way to keep them from coming back. Yeah, and, uh, you know, to this day, every bottle of Crown Royal whiskey is crafted to meet that same uncompromising standard. But, uh, you know, one thing I will say is with Crown Royal, you're definitely compromising some standards. You're compromising a lot of things, including your dignity. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. And, uh, you know what, I'm glad we will see the truth and spread it to the people. Now, uh, let's see a crack on this Crown Royal Black. Let's see what this other right. stuff's about. I'm going to get a uh, stouter mix. Then. Yeah, just kind of get the professional cutting apparatus here. Now, that cut it. My grandfather used to drink this stuff all the time. He'd just chew the plastic off and spit it on the ground. Real, uh, real, uh, solid guy. Yeah, and you know what, that's, that's very a fitting way to open this bottle. Yeah, all right. definitely don't do it with class. I can tell that was a wise man right there. Very appropriate for the occasion. Wouldn't call him classy. Yeah, Holy you know, fuck, they almost actually this like, to, uh, you know, like, honor the great man. Gonna pour one out for him. Love you, Gramps. Amen. It's alcohol abuse, by the way. Holy shit, man. Hey, what, is it harder on that one? I mean, they must really not want you to drink this black one. Which, yeah, uh, this one must be worse. You know, if it's anything like the original, you know, again, yeah, can't blame them, you know. Crown Royal, even though you're not giving out the best whiskey, you are uh, throwing out some good signals. You're great at labeling. You're great at throwing your uh, protective labels on there to keep people out. Yeah. I, I wish they made condoms that good. 
Yeah, what a problem would be solved like that. Yeah, a lot of problems, but we'll, you know, that's another video. Smell stiffer. Oh, wow. I didn't think it'd get any worse than regular Crown Royal, but you can. Yeah. Now, you know what, before, before taking a test oh. drive of this one, I'm going to do some close-ups between the two. Now, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the Crown Royal Black, it's not actually black. It's just a little bit darker than the regular Crown, but 5% uh, uh, more alcohol. Hopefully it's, you know, maybe 5% more bearable, but, you know, my associate here says it's not. But uh, put that to the test drive real quick. 50% worse. Whoa, wow. All right, I tell you what. So we don't slip on the trash here. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, it, it, it's like when you're looking at someone that's really unattractive, but, you know, that's, that's what it tastes like. It's just, you know, like everything in your body just kind of folds in as you drink it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't say it's, you know, as bad as black velvet or anything like that, but uh, pretty close. Yeah, it pretty, pretty nice. It's close. Uh, you know what, I guess the best way to put this is this is a just, you know, the uh, cheap illusion of royalty. All right, and uh, do you really want to live like that? I don't. Now, uh, I'm going to give this one more test drive just to be sure of myself. Oh. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, wow, I just actually got a negative 50 social credit score for drinking that, yeah. by the way. So not feeling very good about that one. Um, is it better than regular Crown? Absolutely not. This is actually worse. So uh, yes, it is. You know, my, my personal opinion, I'm going to give regular Crown a uh, 6 out of 10. And I'm going to give the Crown a little black a... Uh, Five out of ten. I will say this about any, and I mean any and all Canadian whiskeys that I've ever tried. Canadian whiskey is the worst whiskey. It is not good. Kentucky makes the best whiskey. That's right. And I will put money on that. Yes. Kentucky, Shout out to Kentucky. You make the best bourbon. You make the best whiskey. You make the best yes. everything when it comes down to liquor. Do not Canadian whiskey of any type. Trash. Kentucky, it's we trash. love you. If you're single. Hit her line, all right? Bang all right. Line. Now, uh, go ahead, smash that like button, BTL. Smash that subscribe button, and uh, make sure you do leave a comment. Let us know exactly what you want us to review next. And if you don't think we're going to review it, trust me, we're going to review it. Throw in right? the comment sections. We'll, we will do it. We won't don't test that. me, all right? And, uh, you know, I, I saw one of the comments well back that said to review Hennessy White. Don't worry, we're working on it. It's just, it's a little hard to get our hands on, but we promise we will it's going to happen soon. Yes, very, very, very soon. soon. Now, thank you for tuning into the video. You know, usually we would say to uh, go ahead and smash, smash yourself one of these boys, but you, you don't know, have to. I it's really recommend good. that, you know, you, you smash something you better, just like uh, smash something like Oak and Eden, for example, a much better uh, whiskey or, uh, you know, even Whistle Pig, a much better whiskey or than Crown Royal. Another one, all right. Yes, another one. Hold on for the surprise. And uh, this one will get a review, but right now you're going to see just the sneak peek, by the way. Just a little uh, what's left of us. The back end, Colonel E.H. Taylor is one of my favorites. Yeah. This will get a review at some point, yeah. as well as the single barrel and everything else. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe and smash, smash the Colonel Taylor. Taylor. Colonel Taylor's. Yes. You will not regret this. Smooth, gorgeous, and uh, if you look right there, it says straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Yes. They know how to do it. All right. They're, they're just the best. Right here, this is a girlfriend who's really a, a, a bitch, and uh, this is her hot sister. All right. This is her way hard. This is the first sister you wish you could get with while you're stuck with, uh, you know, Miss Not So Bearable over here.
All right. Now, thank you for tuning in. Happy holidays, and we got some more holiday specials coming up for you. Snatch Liquor Reviews 2022-2023, indefinitely, till the end. Amen.